The ability to read fluently is the key to a wealth of valuable knowledge, not to mention the joys to be found in a moving poem or a good book. Sadly, there are still many places where it is common for children to grow up without developing this vital skill. In no particular order, here are six groups helping people of all ages strengthen their reading abilities. Beginning our list at number one is the National Center for Families Learning. Dating back to 1989, this organization fights poverty by providing educational programs that engage parents and children together, through a nationwide network of family learning communities which develop customized initiatives for local needs and capabilities. This approach is aimed at promoting student achievement, while simultaneously building parents' skills and employment prospects. NCFL works with local communities, building coalitions to develop custom strategies for family literacy programs. The group also offers professional development opportunities for teachers, with training on topics like early childhood education and effective engagement techniques, and organizes the annual Families Learning Conference for professionals in the field to come together and share knowledge. Those interested in furthering NCFL's work can help by donating or sponsoring an event. Following up at number two is Literacy Pittsburgh, which provides programs in the greater Pittsburgh area for adults and families seeking to build skills like reading, writing, and career advancement. The diverse options available include family literacy training, high school equivalency exam preparation, and customized programs for employers to provide job skills training. The organization also shares success stories from students to inspire others to pursue their goals. Literacy Pittsburgh offers specialized services like the Oasis Intergenerational Tutoring Program, in which volunteers 50 years or older coach children on core skills, or English language classes for foreign-born Americans. The organization also helps immigrants access key local resources, and provides service learning opportunities through the Compass Amory Core Program. Individuals wishing to further Literacy Pittsburgh's mission can volunteer or make a donation. Up next at number 3 we have Planet Read, a not-for-profit working to improve reading abilities in India and around the world. This initiative seeks to encourage widespread use of closed captioning in visual media, also known as Same Language Subtitling or SLS, to help viewers develop functional literacy skills. The group provides resources such as lyrics for popular Bollywood songs and captioned folk music videos. Planet Read conducts and publishes research projects to demonstrate the potential literacy benefits of SLS, such as studies on children's eye movements while viewing captioned content. The organization's sister company, BookBox, provides animated and subtitled stories in a variety of languages for young learners. Planet Read also highlights efforts around the world to spread SLS for education. Supporters can assist the group's work by donating. Entry number four is the Barbara Bush Houston Literacy Foundation. Created to honor the legacy of the former First Lady, a passionate advocate for family literacy education, this effort aims to carry on her work within her hometown. The foundation sponsors initiatives like My Home Library, which works through local schools to increase children's in-home access to books, or virtual read-aloud sessions for kids to watch remotely. The foundation's offerings include Camp Adventure, a summer educational experience, and Connect for Literacy, a service pairing volunteers with teaching opportunities. Another program, the Ladies for Literacy Guild, organizes events like book drives and visits from the Curiosity Cruiser Mobile Library. The organization also shares suggestions and resources for improving childhood reading skills. Supporters can help the foundation in a variety of ways, including donating, volunteering, and giving books. Coming in at number five is Ride for Reading, a nonprofit based in Nashville, Tennessee that promotes literacy and wellness through bicycle deliveries of books to children in low-income areas. Established by teacher and cycling enthusiast Matthew Portail, the organization lets children build a home collection of books to make reading a bigger part of everyday life. On delivery days, RFR's volunteer cyclists travel to Title I schools, bringing reading materials and speaking to children about health and literacy. The group also organizes a national ride for reading week each year, with communities across the country getting books into the hands of kids. Anyone wishing to contribute to this organization's mission can donate funds or books, assist with sorting and pickup, or join a ride. 
We'll close with number 6, Literacy Mid-South. This organization provides resources to support reading proficiency and lifelong education throughout Memphis, Tennessee. The group offers an adult learning program with small group classes and individual tutoring, for adults who read at or below 6th grade level, as well as an English language skills curriculum for those of any nationality seeking to improve their abilities. Literacy Mid-South collaborates with other local organizations to bolster children's academic success. The Read Memphis project provides training and resources for educational programs in the area, while the Read 901 initiative coordinates a network of partners to provide out-of-school learning time. The group makes a range of literacy resources available online. Supporters can help by donating, or by volunteering as a tutor or Amory Corps summer associate, 